what a beautiful portrait. Look at the lines and the shape. You can almost feel the emotion coming through the gaze. Which do you think is the better option? Hi, I'm Charlene. Um, I'm 32 years old and I'm a curator at Art Science Museum. So, a curators are like storytellers. So, at Art Science Museum as a curator, what we do is that we conceptualise and deliver exhibitions that really look at the intersection of art science, technology and culture. One of the main tasks is research. So, in order to tell a story or in order to present an exhibition, we need to be subject matter expert. And to reach that, we need to consult, let's say, the internet, read books, or talk to the artists, and even talking to experts on the different themes that we are presenting. So planning is the next step after research. And planning entails not just about the concept development, but also a lot on the administrative process. So like the budgeting behind uh, setting up an exhibition, there are a lot of documents and leads you have to organise. Or making contracts with the different people who are going to be involved in our um, exhibition itself. And also coordinating and working with all the other different departments in making the exhibition come to life. Yes, so I guess the most fun part is the execution part, right? When we install the artwork, we work with the artists, our registrar and also the art handlers in the careful handling of the artwork and also installing the work. We will also work with our technician, so then they also take care of all the audio-visual installation and bring all this experience to life. Personally for me, I think when I get to see everything in the space coming together, it's always a very exciting moment. That sort of unspoken feeling that you realise that all the hard work, all the research planning and all the collaboration you have done comes to life. And that's something very magical, uh, I believe, for a lot of people. One of the biggest misconceptions is that um, most of the curators are just limited to fine arts or visual arts and that's not exactly the case. There are many different forms of artwork or works or projects itself and sometimes there are a lot of subject matters that a curator can look into big data or deep sea creatures for example or actually maybe artificial intelligence and those are things that we are very passionate about and can look into and not just about a fine art object. So it's a very interesting journey of how I became a curator. So I actually graduated in biological science, but at the back of my head, I knew that I was not really cut out to work at the lab because I wanted something that was ever-changing and more dynamic. And I have a really strong passion for arts to start with. So I came across um, the job advertisement of um, Art Science Museum looking for docents. Um, so I worked as a docent for two years in the programming department and after that there was an opportunity to join exhibitions um, because we were working then on a deep sea exhibition. I joined the team, worked on the exhibition and I really liked the whole idea of being able to conceptualise and deliver a project. So I went on to take on uh, my Masters in Asian Art History and eventually I am where I am right now. <laughs> So I think one of the hard skills a curator should possess is the ability to research and understand the different research methodology and through the gathering of all the materials and the research then you, you should be able to formulate a very unique perspective on the subject matter that we'd like to discuss. I think one of the soft skills is about um, the ability to work with different people because uh, when you make an exhibition, it's not a single person effort, it's actually a team effort. And I guess one of the people skills you should have is knowing how to manage all the people, what they want, uh, manage their different temperament. One of the very important soft skills um, as a curator or a storyteller is the ability to communicate idea very efficiently and succinctly. Being able to unpack very complex um, idea or concepts and make it uh, easily comprehensible for the general public. 
Well, I think it's very important to be curious because you're not taking everything at face value. So being curious means you are questioning, you are exploring, uh, and you're also sort of generating discourse around the same topic itself. We are looking at in our exhibition to inspire others to sort of rethink about themselves or the others and the perspective around them. If there is an internship opportunities um, to work in the museum, go and apply for it. Because I think besides just studying or the academic track, it's also very important to gain like the on-the-job training, hands-on of what it really feels like working in a museum. I think it's very important for you to do what you love and so let the passion you have uh, to drive you and shape your career as a curator. <laughs>